What's good, men and warriors? I'm diving into the fascinating story of a prominent figure from the Roman Empire, Pacinius Niger, a man of African origin who challenged the status quo and left a permanent mark on history. Let's get it. Pacinius Niger, born in the 2nd century, rose to prominence as a military leader and later became a rival emperor during a turbulent period known as the Crisis of the 3rd century. But before we dive into his rise to power, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the historical context of the Roman Empire during that time. The Crisis of the 3rd century was a period of intense political instability and military conflicts within the Roman Empire. It was marked by a series of short-lived emperors, civil wars, economic struggles, and invasions from external forces. It was a chaotic environment that Pacinius Niger emerged as a significant player. Pacinius Niger, also known as Gaius Pacinius Niger Justice, hailed from the province of Africa, which is present-day Tunisia. He was a member of the senatorial class, and his African heritage makes his story all the more remarkable given the predominantly European representation in roman history just like a lot of things throughout history man us highly melanated people play a real impactful role but you know history books seem to forget that but you know that's why we got the men of wars podcast baby so let's keep going niger began his military career in the late second century serving as a general under emperor septimius Severus. he gained recognition for his military prowess and leadership skills which eventually led to his appointment as governor of syria during his tenure as governor Niger managed to maintain stability in the region and enjoyed the support of his troops. However, his ambition would soon collide with the aspirations of another powerful general, Septimius Savaris' son, Karkala. After the death of his father, Karkala ascended to the imperial throne and was determined to eliminate any potential rivals. In 193 CE, he accused Niger of conspiring against him and declared war on his former ally. The conflict between Niger and Karkala set the stage for a bitter and protracted struggle for power. Niger managed to gather significant support, particularly from the eastern provinces, and proclaimed himself emperor. His claim gained traction, and for a time, Niger controlled a considerable portion of the Roman Empire. So as you can see, it was two emperors, you know, Niger being one of them, his self-proclaimed, but either way, still an emperor of the eastern part of Rome, man, and he did his thing. So let's go ahead and keep going, man. However, Niger's triumph was short-lived. Karkala proved to be a formidable adversary, and after a series of battles, Niger suffered a crushing defeat near the city of Isis, or Isis, in 194 CE. Despite this setback, Niger's supporters remained loyal and continued to fight, but ultimately Karkala emerged victorious. So Niger's defeat, y'all, signaled the end of his bid for power. Karkala, who later became infamous for his brutality, ordered Niger's execution, effectively ending his remarkable journey. It's, it's really unfortunate that the full extent of Niger's accomplishments and contributions to Roman history may never be fully known. The scarcity of African-centered narratives in classical records has often been overlooked in stories of remarkable figures, just like Pacinius Niger. But that's why I created the Melanin Warriors podcast, baby. Niger's story reminds us of the incredible resilience and leadership exhibited by individuals of African descent throughout history. I'm going to say that one more time. Niger's story reminds us of the incredible resilience and leadership exhibited by individuals of African descent throughout history, even in the face of tremendous challenges. So we here at the Melanin Warriors podcast, man, for all of the, the melanin rulers and the melanin warriors that were depicted as something else or act like they didn't exist throughout history at all, man. Salute to all of them. Salute to their ancestors. Salute to every melanin warrior that's ever done it, man. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Y'all go ahead and shop at the Melanin Warriors Podcast. Myshopify.com, man, for y'all latest melanin warrior street gear and merch. I promise, man, you ain't gonna regret it, man. There's some dope stuff out there now. Got some more stuff coming, man. Y'all stay tuned. And remember, if you don't stand for something, you're gonna fall for anything. I shake.